All right, I guess we're live in three, two, one. What's going on? First thing I want to ask you, checking this out. Do you have your man card right now? I always like to say there's top five things you need to have to have your man card. Number one, plunge a toilet. I don't have to get into that, I hope. Two, jumpstart a car. You know, cables, battery. Three, I always like to say change a flat tire. Not only for yourself, but you roll up on a woman alongside the road. You stop and you ask her if she needs help. Don't take any money for that either. We weren't brought up that way. Four, I throw in because you never know when you're going to have to move and get a U-Haul trailer. you got to know how to back up a two-wheel trailer for either that or some job you're going to get down the road. And fifth, and most importantly that I've heard from thousands of women over my 20-year radio career is you got to know how to take care of that woman. And I mean in every single department, and you'll be just fine. So I'll start off with that. My name is Tommy Lee Walker, and um, i got to condense a whole vegetable patch into a little pea right now just to captivate you a little bit. Here's a little bit about me. I, uh, no radio experience whatsoever in 1997. Right now is another story. Maybe you can tell right now a little bit. I made up a fake resume in the library, and I said I worked at the stations in Poughkeepsie, you know, back then, 21 years ago. Gave references to the disc jockeys I knew back then. It's totally bullshit. And, uh, I gotta tell you. No, I know not to say that on the radio. This is between me and you, and it's always been that way. When that mic goes hot, it's between me and you. Just multiply it by tens of thousands. One of my pet peeves is broadcasters that say folks or everybody out there like they're on a podium or something. I don't do that. I convey a message, and I learned my broadcast career in one hour and 35 minutes, summer 1997, by seeing Stern's private parts. Not what he said. Not that stuff, but how he would get that message out. And I've had big guys all the way up top, all the way down, disc jockeys, program directors, consultants, ask me, how do you do this? I said, I was born with it, I think, you know? I mean, I sit there talking to you like I'm formerly at the bar or at your Thanksgiving dinner table. I started up, got the job in 97 with a fake resume, just on a whim, WCKT Fort Myers, that's WCKT, Cat Country 107 FM, no names. I needed, a, they needed an overnight guy, and I didn't know what I was doing. Anyway, got the job, and uh, stayed there about nine months, got blown out for whatever reason, but picked up for 7 to midnight on Gator Country 101.9, and within two months, they moved me to afternoon drive. I was called up to Huntsville, Alabama, about a year after that, by Bud Ford, on WPZM, and Bud's now in St. Louis. Congratulations, man, on that ACM award. Uh, yeah, I knew you always wanted that. And anyway, between me and you, um, PZM, I was on there 7 to midnight. I did traffic for Pete. Pete, you'll know who he is if you're in Cumulus, anyway, over on WVNN. He brought Hannity up, you know, right before I got there, and I was doing traffic for him, and then I'd do nights on the country station. They were getting crushed by DRM at that point. And anyway, I was successful there, but I hated living down south. I'm a New Yorker. Florida, it worked because that's a big piece of Long Island that flipped south, you know, floated south. It worked, but I didn't feel comfortable in the deep south. And I got home to my home market, my home station, even though no matter what happened, I made some mistakes, and I'll get into that in a minute if you're even considering talking to me, perfectly honestly. I was called up there to do afternoon drive, and within one year, I was made program director. And after that, in 2002, Jay Albright came in and said, we got to move the afternoon guy, you, up to mornings. And I said, hold the show here. I can't do that to my guy. I, my general manager agreed with me. We were not going to do that out of loyalty. I was going to stay in the afternoons. I'm not blowing anybody out for that or flip-flopping or the old switcheroo. It's not going to work with me anyway. So we did well. And uh, well in all our demos, 40, 60, you know, women, you know, you want those. P2554 was just off the charts. Well, anyway, 2005, I was called up to do mornings. I gave up programming, and we made it. We were very, very successful. And a motor vehicle accident with a 91-minute extraction with the Jaws and a helicopter ride to New York City to fix me up led me to a, a, a long run with opiate painkillers. No needles or crack or coke or speed or anything like that. It was just the pills, and I had a big problem with that, and, and I lost everything. And I'm just reaching out to whoever I've been told to reach out to right now to give a guy a break. My name is Tommy Lee Walker, and now, you know, it went in the tabloids and on the news and stuff back in 2010, almost 10 years ago. I'm clean up here now, sober in here now, and right up there now. So I've been told, man, don't give up this radio thing. Man, you got the magic in you somehow. You got it. I've been called a thoroughbred, 
natural radio guy, top 2%, maybe if you got this far, maybe you see something here. Why do I wear the hair, the hat? The glasses are prescription glasses, by the way. I'm not just trying to be cool here. I need them to see you. So uh, maybe you see something. I just don't want to look or sound or be like anybody else. I just want to be different and earning the loyalty from all those fans in New York all those years. Just check out my Facebook.com slash Radio Tommy Lee Walker and maybe give me a phone call. 845-707-3786. I'd love to talk to you. If you made it this far, if you know talent in the first, first 30 seconds, maybe you do. And you got this far, maybe you want my number. 845-707-3786. God bless you. I hope to talk to you.